Let's make some nut brown butter. This is a great way to enhance any baked good that you're making. We'll start with some unsalted butter. You can use salted if you want. Um, then we are going to be melting our butter in a pan over medium high heat until it completely melts and all of the milk solids turn a wonderfully golden, nutty uh, color. After that, we'll go ahead and chill this wonderful butter. And as it's cooling, we'll stir it until it comes back to a wonderful, creamy, nutty smelling, nutty tasting butter. So let's get started. What is nut brown butter? Traditionally, we would call nut brown butter beurre noisette. And that means really hazelnut butter. Why do we call it that? As we take one cube or four ounces, a quarter of a pound, that's a half a cup of softened butter, we're going to put it into a pan that has been heated to medium high heat with a rubber spatula that is uh, heat proof, so a silicone spatula. Place these pieces of butter into the pan and they're immediately going to start foaming up and sizzling. While this is happening, you're going to hear it sizzle. And what's, what's occurring is the water in the butter is evaporating. One indicator that your nut brown butter is finished is that that water is going to be completely evaporated and it's going to be quiet as it's cooking. After the water evaporates or as it's evaporating, the milk solids are going to the bottom of the pan and they're going to begin to toast and caramelize. Now, we wanna keep a close eye on the butter and it's best to use a pan that's light in color versus being dark in color because it's very difficult to see how golden brown and toasty it's gotten. When we're making beurre noisette or nut brown butter, it's very easy to go from wonderfully golden brown to burnt. So we wanna make sure that we have a measuring cup ready to pour this hot butter into. It's best too, to make sure that you're pour, when you're pouring it, that you're pouring it over uh, something in case you spill anything and that would catch the excess butter. So I've got a little bit of a pan here. Now you can see that the foaming stopped and it's perfectly quiet. And as I stir it around, it's a beautiful golden brown. I'm gonna go ahead and pour my half cup of nut brown butter into the measuring cup. I wish you could smell this, it smells fantastic. So we could use this in its melted form if the recipe called for melted butter. But because we're going to cream this butter, we wanna make sure that we have a soft, smooth, homogenized butter to put into our cookies and cream with the sugar and then add our eggs and start making those cookies. So we're going to need to replace the water that we lost while it was cooking. I've prepared earlier some of the nut brown butter and I wanna make sure that it's cooled long enough before I add the water. So I've let this cool for about 10 minutes and we've got a half a cup of butter here. And as it's evaporating uh, in the cooking process, you lose approximately uh, maybe an ounce. So we're going to add about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half, just bringing the volume of the butter up to a half a cup. At this point, I'd go ahead and put this in the refrigerator 
stirring it occasionally with a spoon until it becomes smooth and uniform and turns in to softened butter. I wish you could smell that this. It smells nutty uh, and it's gonna really add a boost to any of our baked goods. Have fun, go try to make some nut brown butter and enjoy the outcomes. Bye-bye.